So the process in it itself is usually quick in the beginning. So a statutory notice of deficiency, the most common ticket to tax court, only provides a 90-day petition window. So if the taxpayer needs to petition within 90 days. After that, the IRS will answer the petition. There might be some additional affirmative allegations, but then the case slows down. The tax court is unique in that other than being in Washington DC doesn't have permanent seats anywhere, meaning that the tax court judges in essence ride the circuit and travel the country. They will determine what calendar sessions in which city well in advance and notify the parties of when and where they're, they're going to hear the case. That means though you are at the a taxpayer is at the mercy of the tax court's trial calendar session and it might not be on a calendar session for a year, two years, depending on the city that the taxpayer asks, requests for this uh, place of venue. Uh, you can, you know, places in Southern California, New York or other highly populated areas with more frequent calendars, the cases move quicker, more remote areas, uh, for example, you know, Denver or, or I believe that Alaska hears cases in, in um, Seattle, because of the lower volume of cases, they move a lot slower. If the case can be resolved early with discussions with chief counsel, it could be over very, very quickly. There's also an opportunity in just receiving and seeing the petition that the IRS would concede. But ultimately, if it needs to go to a trial, that could be a year or longer process.